So did you know that today is National Women's Health and Fitness Day? Well, it is. And to get you in the spirit of the day and the week, we asked Andrew Fodge, a personal trainer, to come down here and show us some exercises that we can do at home. Welcome to the show, Andrew. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. I see you brought some uh, beautiful ladies here to help yeah, you. Yeah, they're going to help me out. It's going to be really good. Your little entourage. That's right. All right. So what are you going to demonstrate for us today? Well, most people have a broomstick or some long stick around their home. And so what we're going to show is some really good effective exercises to do with like a broomstick or a piece of pipe, whatever you might have, an old golf club will work too. Um, and these are exercises that we do in our studios, so I feel like we're kind of giving away a lot today with some of our secrets. You're letting uh, the cat out of the bag. That's so, right. So, <laughs> it being home week, these are things that we're gonna, we can do at home. Absolutely. And, and what are these going to do? Just sort of help stabilize or keep our balance? Stabilize, give you a reference point if you're doing something wrong. Mm -hmm. um, also, make sure like is it feeling right? Are you getting it right? Are you going far enough? Is it effective enough? That okay. type of thing. All right. Let's do our first one. All right. So what we're going to do is start with a total body movement called a deadlift. And I'm going to have Stacy here demonstrate it, um, if you can face me, Stacy. And so what we're going to do is kind of load the hip, the hamstrings, and also engage the lats and the triceps. We're kind okay. of focusing on those women trouble areas that we always hear about, the belly, the booty, and the grandma flap we type have thing. Grandma flap. <laughs> okay. So we have what a lot we're going to do areas. is we're going to press the stick against our thighs and slowly come down right below the kneecaps and then try to bend the stick. Now we brought sticks that are pretty bendable and so I'm going to have Stacy come down and actually try to bend that stick and you can see how she's engaging her lats, her triceps, her hips are loaded, the, t uh, the hamstrings are working. Can you feel that? So when she bends when she bends the stick, is that doing something to her back? It helps her engage the correct posture. Okay. Because it's really easy to want to do this. Uh -huh. And so what we're doing is we're asking your body to do this, which if we then move on to like a barbell or something like that, she's safe. Okay. She's how many of these herself. would she do and how many reps to make well, it? Well, you can kind of see how she's doing it. Uh -huh. We're going to hold it for like 10 seconds each and do about 10 reps per set. Okay. You could do that in between a commercial. Absolutely. Okay. You got it. All right. Great. Okay. We'll, we'll let you get up. <laughs> And so now we're going to move down to our mats and we're going to do what I call a shoulder touch and you're basically going to get into a push-up position. Okay. And I'm going to have the girls kind of lay the stick right down the midline of their body. Now this is our reference point and I'll show you why here in a second. So let's go and pop up to our push-up position and all we're going to do is simply touch opposite hand to opposite shoulder to side to side. Now this is correct form. You can see how they're kind of staying right over that stick. Uh, Amanda, go and show me incorrect posture with your hips popping up. And what is this working? The core? This is a lot. Okay. This is core. This is quads. This is triceps again. Uh, this is everything from the hips up for the most part. Okay. If we go too far off, so like say, uh, Stacy, show me like incorrect. If we start wavering side to side, we lose all that core emphasis. Right. So this is a great way to get the abs, the six pack without doing a ton of crunches. Okay. Okay. Again, how many? Reps? I would do 10 to start out with. Okay. If you can feel it, you can stop at 10. And then do you do it again when you feel a little bit better? Yeah, wait for the next commercial. Wait, next commercial. Okay. Oh, okay. So now we're going to move on to our backs and we're going to do a floor bridge with a leg extension. Okay. And so I'm going to have the girls lie on their backs and we're going to put our sticks right over our hips, again, as a reference point to make sure we're doing it correctly. And so when uh, they start bridging their hips up, you can see how the sticks stay parallel to the floor. Now kick one leg out for me. And this is what we want is for the thighs to stay parallel to each other and not to have one leg pop up higher than the other. Now, we're like going to get those glutes, get the hamstrings. We are still getting abs and we're still getting triceps because we're pressing that stick against the pelvis. And I, uh, show me an incorrect movement here. Now you can see how the stick goes away from parallel. Uh -huh. What we want to do is correct that. And that's going to make sure we keep the isolation on those gluteal muscles, that we don't lose it into our lower back, the hamstrings, something else that we don't want to work or hurt potentially. Now, could, I'm sure guys could do this too. Uh, absolutely. Would they just, do they need to do it in a different way or just do more? Or? Same exact thing. Okay. This is functional movement, and functional movement works for everybody of all ages. Uh, whatever their goal might be, we can still work on function. Okay. We have uh, one more minute. You want to show us one more? Yeah, absolutely. Let's go into a Russian twist. But what do you call this one? A Russian twist. A Russian twist. I don't okay. know why it's called a Russian <laughs> twist. It just is. It better be good because it sounds really great. <laughs> so I'm having Amanda put the stick across her shoulders and then Stacey's going to hold the stick out in front. This is just a variation to kind of get some more activity. Oh, definitely working the abs Absolutely. For sure. The obliques, that love handle area. And what we're trying to do is reach that stick back as far back as possible to make contact with the floor. Now show me in correct form. 
which is just side to side, not really getting the abs. We really want to make sure that we're rotating and reaching back with that stick. Andrew, while they're continuing, because I'm sure they want to work their abs this morning, yeah. where are you located? Uh, we have an Old Town Scottsdale location, okay. Fitness by Andrew, and a North Scottsdale location, Method Athlete, and we have a Venture Boot Camp Scottsdale. Okay, and one more question. Did you buy stock in the PVC pipe before you came on? You know what? I should buy stock in Home Depot, because yeah. that's where we get them from. No, we like local around here. Somewhere <laughs> where you can get a PVC pipe. Thank you guys so much for You're coming welcome. on. What you can do with a, a broomstick and a piece of PVC pipe. It's amazing. <laughs> For more information on how you can get in touch with Andrew, just go to sonoranliving.com.